Hi everyone, it's Miss Victoria from the Ridgewood Library. I hope you're all doing well. I have a really cute story time for you today about alpacas and llamas. Did you know that they're actually two very different animals? They are cousins. Many people think that they're the same, but they're actually different. So I thought before we read our stories, we would learn about some of those differences. As you can see from this picture, the alpaca on the left and the llama on the right have some very different physical features. Alpacas have short spear-shaped ears, while llamas have much longer banana-shaped ears. In terms of their size, alpacas generally weigh less and are shorter than llamas. An alpaca's face has a smushed-in look, while a llama's face is longer. The hair of an alpaca is much finer than that of a llama. The alpaca also produces more fleece than its larger cousin, and in a much greater variety of colors. Their fleece is like sheep's wool and is used in making clothing, rugs, and blankets. Llamas also generally do not have as much hair on their head and face as alpacas do. And finally, with regard to their disposition or behavior, alpacas are herd animals, while llamas are more independent. So now that you understand some of the differences between the two animals, let's listen to our stories. Our first book is called Maka the Alpaca. This is written by Matt Cosgrove. This guy is called Maka. He's an alpaca. Maka's days were carefree, filled with giggles and glee, until drama, a llama. That guy is called Harmer. He's no charmer. He's tall, strong, and woolly, but also a bully. Harmer was mean. Quite the worst you have seen. He took Macca's stuff and played very rough. You puny pipsqueak. I'm strong and you're weak. That's not very nice. Macca said, no, you're wrong. I'm surprisingly strong. The pair made a bet and a challenge was set. I'll move this boulder. Harmer pushed with his shoulder. He huffed, puffed, and nudged till it finally budged. When Macca's turn came, he just used his brain. Very clever of Macca. Hmm. Well, why don't you try to reach up this high? Easily done using this. Harmer let out a hiss. Look at that, he used a ladder. Again, Macca's being very clever. Now that llama was fuming, his nasty mind zooming. He's not very happy. Okay, let's have a race. Try and keep pace. First to the top is the best. Full stop. Let's see what happens. They took off in a flash and began their mad dash up that steep mountainside. But then the rocks started to slide. Oh no. Being nimble and light, Macca made it all right. As he leapt to the summit, he saw Harmer plummet. Some might call it karma, as that bully of a llama went crash, bang, and splat. And that, my friends, was that. Harmer said plainly shaken, 
Turns out I was mistaken, for you've proved it quite clearly. Size doesn't matter, really. Maka went up to the thug and gave him a great big... I wonder what he's going to give him. Hug! Aww, how sweet. See, Maka shows that kindness is the best thing. It's not nice to be a bully. It's nice to be a friend. I hope you enjoyed that story. I thought that was very sweet about Maka the alpaca and Harmer the llama. So I brought our two animals together. And we did see from that story that they look a little bit different. And of course they acted a bit different there too. But we learned about the real differences between alpacas and llamas, didn't we? So now I have our second book for you. This is called Llama Llama and the Bully Goat written by Anna Dudney. Llama Llama, busy day, writing, counting, pictures, clay. Roll a pancake, draw the sun. Almost everyone has fun. Time for circle, time for song. Time to clap and sing along, just like at our story times. Kitty, rhino, sheep and calf, llama, Nellie and giraffe, all sing songs in their own way. Moo and bellow, ba and bray. Llama, llama claps the beat. Gilroy goat just points and bleats. Sheep goes ba and calf goes moo. Gilroy thinks that's silly too. Llama Llama likes to sing. Gilroy laughs at everything. Llama sings out just the same. Gilroy says a not nice name. Hmm. Teacher has some things to say. Calling names is not okay. Being mean is not allowed. Teacher says to stop it now. Wouldn't you agree? Not nice to be mean. Time for recess. Go outside, monkey bars and slippy slides. Nellie's dolly makes a road. Fuzzy llama pulls a load. Kids climb up and kids climb down. Everybody runs around. Nellie's dolly wants to dig. Fuzzy drives a great big rig. Gilroy stands in Fuzzy's way. Gilroy, do you want to play? Gilroy bleats and kicks the dirt. He gets sand on Llama's shirt. Gilroy throws some dirt at Nellie. Ha ha, gnus are really smelly. Gilroy pushes, fuzzy falls. Ha ha, llamas play with dolls. That Gilroy is not very nice. Gilroy snickers, laughs and kicks. Gilroy tosses toys and sticks. Gilroy stomps on llama's coat. Gilroy is a bully goat. Hmm. Gilroy, this is not okay. Stop it or we'll go away. Being bullied is no fun. Walk away and tell someone. See, they went and told their zebra teacher. Gilroy fusses, frowns, and pouts. Gilroy gets a long time out. Teacher says, let's try again. Gilroy, can you be a friend? No more kicking, no more names. Time to play a nicer game. Sounds like a good idea to me. 
End of recess, back inside. Gilroy sits by teacher's side. Everybody sings the song, and this time, Gilroy sings along. Well, that's a much better way to behave, don't you think? Gilroy Goat has fun with llama. But school is over, here comes Mama. Tomorrow has more games to try. See you then. Friends wave goodbye. So let's sing our goodbye song, just like all the animals at school said goodbye to each other until the next time they meet. Are we ready? We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we clap goodbye like this. We blink goodbye like this. We blink goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we blink goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. Until next time, friends, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.